Hey guys, it's Alan from Plangora, and I wanted to talk to you guys today all about case statements. Now, case statements are really, really great, and they really show you the power of pattern matching. And I'm going to show you how we can use a case statement and pattern matching together to have really robust and useful code. Let's go ahead, let's get started. So if you guys remember from our last lesson, we talked a little bit about maps, and I'm gonna get into much more about maps later on in our course. But I wanted to show you guys how using maps and case statements, we can really show you the true power of Elixir and pattern matching. And so there's a function here in the map module called git, and we pass in a map, and we pass in the key, and we don't have that key in our map. As you can see, this is an empty map. We're gonna get nail back. And if we do have that key, you can see over here, we're gonna get back the value one. Now, how can we use this? So going back to our code and our pattern matching module, I'm going to show you guys how we can use this to say, check to see if there is a key there by using our get function. So def for defining a function. So we can use a has key function. We can pass in our map. And now we can use our case statement, case map dot uh, git, pass in the map, and the key, we got to put our key over here, do. Now for every single case that we need to handle, we're going to have to use um, a special syntax. So the first thing that we're going to handle is if the key isn't there. It's going to return the value nil, right? And then we use a short arrow syntax. And then we can return false. And if there is a value here, we're going to return true. And just to let you guys know, there's actually already a function in the map that has this called has key. But this is actually, uh, but I just wanted to, to use this as an example to show you guys. So we're just going to make our own just to show you how this actually would work. Okay. Now we can use ix-xs mix to load our code. And this is also the power of Elixir is that we have a warning that the value is unused. We should prefix it with an underscore. Let's go ahead, let's do that. Perfect. Now let's go ahead, let's reload. Okay, now we got that warning done. So what we can do is we can use our pattern matching and our has key function, pass in a map. So let's pass in the empty map. Check to see if we have the value A. False, good. Now, if we set A to be one, see if true. Oh, that's really great. So this is really the power of, of pattern matching. So instead of having the match operator, we could just use case statements and we can safely do what we need to do. And as you can see, this will handle any type of value. So we could use, say, a string. Doesn't really matter what that value is, as long as it's not nil. And because of that, actually, seriously, the only thing that it won't work on is if we put nil here, this is going to be wrong. So this is the only problem with this. So what we can do is we can use a special Syntax over here, none. We can, we can use the uh, sort of different defaults. 
and then we can replace this with none and safeguard ourselves. Okay, now we can try this again. Pattern matching that as key. A new and then we can work against that. So this is the really the power of case statements and pattern matching shown in, in a useful way, right? So this is just an example to kind of show you what we can do with it. Okay, so I'm gonna catch you guys next time. This is Alan again from Plangora. Please subscribe. Uh, we're gonna be releasing a brand new course soon. And I'm hoping to see you guys there. Thanks. Bye.